So in this video, we're going to be constructing or copying an angle that would be congruent to a given angle. Uh, it's a few more steps than we did with copying a segment, but you'll see some overlapping steps as well. Make sure you have a compass as well as a straight edge. Uh, these two things are going to help you uh, be able to complete this construction. Make sure at any time if you're confused about a step, rewind, rewatch it, and watch as I do it on the board together here um, as your example. So the first thing you want to do is take your straight edge and draw a segment that will represent a reference segment on your new angle. So it doesn't matter how long it is, just go ahead and draw a segment using your straight edge. Okay, And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and label one of the points on that segment, point D. It doesn't have to be the end point, I'm just putting it at the end point here. Go ahead then and place the compass on point A. So take the point of the compass and put it on point A. And stretch the compass to any length so, it, so as long as it stays on the angle. So as I stretch my compass out or in, as long as I can draw an arc that's going to cross both rays of my angle, that's good for us. So I'm gonna go down here, draw my arc. Wherever that compass intersects with the angle, I'm going to label those points B and C. B and C. Without changing the span of that compass, we're going to place our compass down on point D. And I'm going to go ahead and create that same style arc, that same width. Obviously, we can see that our segment and that arc have intersected each other. So I'm going to go ahead and label that point E. Point E. Now we're going to go back to the previous angle, which we can now call CAB. And we're going to measure the width with our compass from C to B. So I'm going to put my point of my compass on C. And I'm going to, going to rotate it so that the pencil is going to go through point B. Now the width of the angle, I'm going to use the compass as a way to measure that. I'm going to take this width, or length between C and B, and I'm going to replicate that here from E to my other point without changing the width. So do not want to change my width, and then wherever these two arcs intersect, is where my other point on my copied angle is going to exist. And we'll label this point F. Now that I have my three points, I'm just going to draw one final ray, which is a ray that's going to intersect point D to point F. I'm just going to rotate my straight edge here until I go through point F and draw my right here, right there. And now I've finally copied my angle. So I can now say that my copied angle, angle F, D, E, is congruent to angle C, A, B.